Okay. All right. We went into the wind and then we. Very good. Typically, for something like this, we would generally plan eight to ten weeks. In the six to seven week you know, time frame it's been now, we've done quite a lot. Painting the hull. Custom fabricating the hard top. Installing the bow thrusters. It was unique to us. Greenpeace is bringing a boat to us that's going to be dedicated to protecting what we love. I just think the efficiency of the project has just been key. Naturally, with all projects this size, there were definitely moments that felt overwhelming. When we're planning the build of this vessel, we were thinking about the fact that we're going to have science equipment on board. We're going to have to be able to launch boats quickly. We need to be able to host storytellers and journalists to get our campaigns out there in the real world. All of these considerations, as well as the fact that we have to operate safely in super remote locations. And of course, most importantly for Greenpeace, we want to do this in a low impact way as possible. Thanks to the work of this amazing team we've pulled together, and I honestly can't believe we're at this point now. The Oceania was made possible initially by a very generous gift from one deeply committed individual. But then the fit out, the running costs, all that is only made possible by the generosity of thousands of Greenpeace supporters in Australia and the Pacific. It really is just another moment to thank everyone who's been involved in making the vision possible of an ocean protector for the waters of Australia and the Pacific. The keel and the rudder are one of the most important parts of the vessel, I suppose. That was obviously removed for servicing and assessing. Putting it back in was quite tricky, making sure everything aligns. That was another huge team effort to pull off and execute. It was a lot of work removing the mass and doing all the rigging to make the vessel more safe for sailing, and more effective. These rigs hadn't come out of the yacht since it was new. All the rigs, booms, standing rigging, running rigging has all been replaced. We upgraded all the electronics. The vessel now has Starlink, radar, chart plotters, autopilot, everything it needs to do what it's gonna do best. It's gonna be completely self-sufficient. Changing the colour of the vessel to a green piece, uh, iconic green, was a very important process. What seemed like quite a simple task, you know, wasn't quite. We actually had to fill and fair a large portion of the hull to get the paint to adhere properly. The completion of the, you know, the paint and the hull refinish was definitely a unique moment for us. Took a step back and all of us had a big smile on our faces, you know, during that moment. Personally, when I saw the, the vessel uh, with the rainbow and the dog, was an important emotional situation for me. I'm so happy. Greenpeace was born on the ocean, going out there and showing the world what's happening out of sight, out of mind, and of course taking action to stop environmental destruction happening. What Greenpeace has demonstrated over 50 years is that ocean-going vessels are absolutely vital in the struggle to protect our oceans and the struggle to protect our climate. There is a need for a vessel like the Oceania so that the polluters have nowhere to hide on our oceans. It's going to allow Greenpeace to really amp up our at sea activity in some of the world's most beautiful and important ecosystems. There's a lot of work for it to do out there, and it's going to be vital in getting that work done. So, we are the, going under the main mass of the vessel. 
this coin will be placed in this place. I put the now, uh, and then the technician, they will put the mask on top of it. That's a tribute. If you're going to travel to the next light, it's a tradition for all vessels coming from ancient time to now. Having the Greenpeace coin, that was more special than the normal one. Doing the sea trial today is almost ending the process of the refit, so important. Okay, let's go aft. We're going to be able to test everything comprehensively and put a bit of load on the rig that's just been serviced and test all the systems. So just looking forward to getting out there and seeing how everything all works and performs. Very successful, yeah. Went well, the sails, all the sails have gone, uh, been hoisted and uh, dropped successfully. And um, we're out there in pretty light breeze, doing eight, nine knots with all the sails hoisted. So yeah, it's a good, uh, good afternoon and successful sea trial. This is an incredibly significant day for Greenpeace. It's also a pretty emotional day, personally. I remember where I was when I heard that the Rainbow Warrior, Greenpeace's most renowned ship, had been bombed in the 1980s. And to be here today for the naming ceremony of the new Greenpeace specials, the Oceania, which is going to be protecting our oceans across these waters of Australia, across Pacific waters, incredibly significant day. Everything that is part of Greenpeace is because of the belief of the people who believe in protecting an Earth capable of nurturing life in all of its magnificent diversity. And now as is traditional, let's launch the Oceania. Your beautiful planet. We're super excited to continue the work that the Rainbow Warrior started last year. Our first mission will take us to the very heart of Australia's biggest climate fight in Western Australia. Australia.